Peace and greetings, everyone. Divine Zill here with another video. Um, today, we got something pretty cool, pretty special. This is Cypherbox version 1.0. Um, it's kind of been a long time in the making. It was actually my first uh, PCB that I made with PCBWare. Um, but the code has kind of been taking a little bit longer. So let's turn it on. Um, but this is now available on GitHub. And um, it's pretty versatile. Kind of intended to be more of like a sandbox of sorts and kind of like a template. Um, here you can see it's setting up. I don't have an I don't have an SD card in here. Um, but yeah, it's got a cool menu. Uh, kind of break down what's all on here. Have a MFRC five two two module. This is an RFID reader, and we have a uh, GPS here. Let's see the uh, cool antenna modification uh, so this is for the war driver and um, pretty much the smallest GPS module uh, you could find then it comes with uh, four buttons this is up down select then the home button and then you have this uh, SSD 1306 uh, 0.96 inch 100 28 by 64 pixel screen uh, so pretty small then it comes with this uh, neo pixel light and I'm gonna make a uh, case for this so the idea is uh, this light will kind of be covered and for uh, this one we have the ESP 32 room 32d and if you're using a breadboard, it doesn't matter um, really which ESP32 room you use. Uh, but for this breadboard, you're going to want the uh, 32D. Then if we turn around here, um, have the SD card module. And this can uh, store data and you can um, edit the code to store whatever data you want. And I have uh, this wired here um, because I am using a different LED than you should. Um, you know, let's try. So this is the WS2811, but uh, this schematic requires the WS2812. Um, so when you buy that, make sure you get the right one. But it uh, doesn't really matter. Um, you know, you could still do whatever you want there. Uh, yeah, so you can, and I highly recommend that you um, get a PCB made uh, because then you won't have to do a breadboard uh, because this will require quite a lot of wires. And then um, you have some resistors here too that you need for the um, buttons to work. So the PCB makes it um, super easy. And uh, I made a video too on how to order uh, PCBs. Makes it as easy as ordering something from uh, Amazon. And then um, it'll be a lot easier for you to just solder um, everything on there. And PCBWare does also have assembly, um, and they can source these parts too, if you don't want to solder anything. But I'll have a link down uh, below if you guys want to. And then I also have one in uh, black. And I have a few extra ones too, so I don't know, maybe in the future i get a few out free. So yeah, let's go through the uh, features. So the first one is the packet monitor. Shout out to Space Hoon. 
but I kind of customized it a little bit um, so it looks a little bit different um, but it basically scans for uh, packets in the area and then you can uh, change channels click on the select button so you could see certain channels don't have many um, channels 1 6 and 11 are usually the more popular ones so you can see there's still nothing six is getting a little bit more activity as you can see and then obviously 11 so you could use this to kind of see uh, which net network channels are getting most activity so if you're using something like uh, um, one of the Wi-Fi jammers or something, you could uh, s select specific um, channels. So next we have this uh, Wi-Fi sniffer. And this will um, go through different uh, channels. And um, you can also configure the code to uh, log all of this if you want, uh, but it is kind of a lot of data. So next we have a uh, classic 8P scan. So it's uh, scanning. And yeah, it uh, scans for the nearby networks. And here we have uh, AP join. So in the code, you could put in your uh, Wi-Fi credentials. So then this can uh, connect to it and then you can uh, do other things um, but it just sets it up so you can uh, easily join your network uh, AP create and what this does is it creates a Wi-Fi network um, that you can connect to and then it creates um, a web web server um, but here I have it uh, blank I didn't have it uh, create anything but um, yeah, you'll be able to connect to your server and have a little template for um, just a basic uh, web page. You can edit and uh, create like an evil portal or do whatever. And here we could stop it. And then also you can um, stop the uh, web server too. So there comes the Bluetooth scan. And uh, as you can see, it uh, gets the MAC addresses of uh, the different uh, devices nearby and then it can kind of scan through them. And just a cool easy way to kind of look at different uh, MAC addresses uh, without having to use, you know, an app on your phone that uh, scans for them. So here we have uh, BT Create. And what this does is it uh, creates a Bluetooth uh, device. So in the code, you can kind of um, put in what name you want for that device to be. So you could have it be like AirPods or, you know, spoof names or whatever. Um, maybe even do a Bluetooth uh, beacon spam. Because uh, this ESP also has Bluetooth capabilities. Um, next, we have a Bluetooth serial command. And <clears throat> it's kind of similar to the regular s serial monitor, but um, basically this creates a Bluetooth device 
and then you can connect to that with um, like a Bluetooth serial device. I make a, I'll make a video uh, later on, and then you could type commands and uh, remotely control this. Um, but yeah, you could uh, turn on the Bluetooth serial command and then connect to it with your phone and then you could send uh, certain commands um, so you could configure this to uh, do certain things um, while you're not near it. So next we have a Bluetooth uh, HID human interface device. Um, so when you uh, select this, it uh, basically acts as a bad USB, uh, but through Bluetooth. And um, right now there's just a basic template script that uh, does a Rick roll, I think on MacBooks, on uh, Mac OS. And um, there's quite a bit um, you could do with the different types of scripts, basically anything you could do with a mouse and keyboard. Um, you could code this to replicate. Um, so you could get creative with that, but once again, I just left a you know, basic uh, template of sorts. Um, here is a beta implementation of uh, Devil Twin. Um, the original Devil Twin was on ESP8266, uh, but for ESP32, um, it's, it's functional. Like, it, it creates a uh, access point, and then it creates a web UI uh, that you can connect to or someone else can connect to. Um, and pretty, pretty much all there. Uh, but you'll need to uh, test it out for yourself. Um, and once again, the, the basic framework is there. Uh, you need to just get out some of the bugs. Um, next, we have RFID Reader. So we have a little chip here. Um, so I have a basic implementation of uh, reading the card, and then I'll do some updates to have the cloning and all that. And then you also have a uh, read blocks. Um, but this isn't a NFC, so you can't read uh, the blocks of that. And then next we have the uh, war driver. Um, I'm not really in a good uh, location for a GPS. So the GPS isn't blinking. Um, so right now I'll just say searching for satellites. Uh, but the idea of a war driver is that it gets the GPS location you're currently at and it scans also at the same time uh, for Wi-Fi networks and then logs all of that um, to an SD card. Uh, that you could use uh, later. And then we got a uh, party light, of course. And all this does is it just uh, flashes different colors. <laughs> and then uh, just some other settings in the future uh, that kind of set up for you light off. Um, if the SD, if SD card's in there, then you can uh, view files, and then also read files off the card, and then um, got a little setting menu for you if you want to set that there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Just uh, some basic uh, features, and there's going to be uh, some updates coming up. Uh, because a lot of the different modules kind of go with other uh, different projects I have. Um, but yeah, if you like this, uh, you, once again, you could check the hardware folder and um, get your own uh, PCBs made. And uh, with my link, you can also get a discount on your first order. And um, it's super cheap. It's like five bucks for, uh, you know, a few PCBs. <clears throat> and then if you want to get assembly too, um, if you don't want to solder, um, you could ask me for the build a material list and I'll get that together for you um, because it'll be very easy as well to just uh, have this all made and uh, shipped to you.